February 10th, and that means Members Only Mondays. Yeah, we're yeah, seriously. Uh, we've had some interesting conversations this morning, but we are here with you with wrestling news. How did last week go, fellas? Well, we got whooped up on, but I feel like we wrestled pretty good. Hard. Yeah. Wrestled I'm hard. Hard. A lot more fight than some previous matches. We had, did we nominate Trot for Dirty Flow Scramble of the Week yet? We did not. We that did was not. pretty weak. I don't even know if Flow Wrestling still does that. First 10 seconds of the match, it we was, wrestled Duke. It seemed like it was 45. It was only 10 seconds? It might have been 12. I, I can't remember. But anyways, early into the match, they get into this crazy scramble. Kid oh. hits a nasty double on him. Oh, yeah. Right to his butt. And, of course, Trot's reaching through the crotch like this. And Most people... Sprawl back when a guy attacks their legs. Trot, Sprawl, as in feet goes back, right? right? Yeah, Trot goes this way. His feet go forward. He catches you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how um, Trot sprawls. Yeah. Um, he but, did his modified sprawl. He was on top. It's a fold. The yeah, don't, don't kid call was on top. Here, there. He folds. Yeah, it's not, don't call it's it a sprawl. fold. Okay, a fold. Yeah. He hey, I can right. relate. Yeah, but anyways. He eventually came up Crazy on scramble, he gets on top. Um, wins the match, so good win for him. Majored him. Ziggler had a good grind. He did come around a little bit. He's he's wrestled great. To, uh, well, not great. A lot better. A lot better the past few matches out. So hopefully he's starting to peek around that corner. He's trying to get around. Get over so, the hump. Because <laughs> um, there had a big pin <laughs> against the Citadel. That guy was a. A massive ball. He was something. as high, as tall as Brendan Couture, so five three. He weighed about and weighed same. just as much. And weighed two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And um, uh, Cuz had a good Brandon. shot. Put him on his back. Um, got the pin. Ball against the Citadel. Plus, we lost to Duke on uh, Wednesday. We were nineteen nineteen going into the last two matches. Lost the last two matches. Citadel. I don't know the score. We only won two matches. But we were in a lot of them. It was 9 to 20-something. Um, and, um, you know, Mosley has Ugi defending All-American, returning All-American on the ropes. You know, had the first takedowns up 3-1 at one point. Um, down a takedown at the very end of the match, in on a single leg, and gets countered. So, was in the position where he wanted to be to win the match. You know, on paper, you're not supposed to, he's not supposed to be in that match. Mm-hmm. But he hung around and he put himself in position to win, just didn't win. So, same with Trot with it with, with Turkdoff, you know, top ten kid, um, six three going into third. We took top and he he pretty much laid on his belly and not to, to not get turned the whole time, which good good defensive strategy for yeah. him. Um, but you know we got to find out, out a way to score when, from where we're good and got to find got to find another way another way to create some offense. So. A lot we can learn from last last week's matches. Uh, have all week off this week from competition. Heading to Camp Bell, Campbell next week to Blues Creek. Next Wait. Wednesday in Russell in Southern Illinois, Edwardsville. Okay, never mind. What were you gonna say? Camp Bell. Is there actually a P in there? Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> learn yeah. something new every day. I'm glad you're here today, guys. Camp Campbell. Campbell is C A M. -P I think it's camp. Camp Bell, yeah. It is. Yeah. Now you got me second guessing myself. They're the camels. Yeah, the Gaylords. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's supposed to snow this week, guys. That's why I'm wearing my winter hat. You're toboggan. No. It is a winter hat, I agree. It's toboggan. Hopefully, Blevins can get his chains on before the snow hits this Gosh, time. Gosh, <laughs> dang. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be sliding down the hills. <laughs> Crashing into stuff, leaving your uh, in the the, the car graveyard, right? Hey, if my if I don't fix my truck, it ain't gonna be going anywhere <laughs> during the ice and snow. <laughs> yeah, you and you and Tater Top be riding around together the whole time, huh? We have to put chains on his car. But they'll do it. Might have to. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, no matches this week. Got a lot of good training to do. A lot of training planned. Um, Gonna really grind it out, and I'm real happy with our February schedule, competition-wise. It gives us some opportunities to do some little mini cycles of training. Mm -hmm. you know, all week off this week, and get after pretty hard. 
um, bust them down, break down their bodies a little bit for the next few days and give them some time to recover, get back, get fresh for next week. Yeah. That's how the cookie crumbles. Good country. Yeah. <laughs> Way to contribute, Nate. Yeah. I'm still stuck on the squared circle. Uh, Nick Bowman calling me out. I'm yeah. not knowing what a squared circle is, but tell you what. I know what the people's elbow is. <laughs> Drop it off the top rope. We'll see you next week for Members Only Mondays. It's Nick Bowman. It's like Dodge Ram. What? There's no such thing. Of, of a Dodge Ram? It's an oxymoron. Squared circle. You can't have a circle with edges on it. What's that have to do with a Dodge Ram? It's an oxymoron. How? What do you mean how? A squared circle. Dodge Ram. How is Dodge Ram an oxymoron? You, you can't can. dodge and ram something at the same time. A ram is an animal. <laughs> it's an animal. It's like a Ford Mustang. It's not like, oh, ramming. Ram is the, the animal ram. Okay. Okay. The Dodge is the name of the company. Ford Mustang, Chevrolet Suburban Dodge. You can't Dodge Ford Ram. a Mustang. You can't Ford a Mustang. Oh my gosh. Now, you know what we you know who we sound like? My dad? No.